Hello everyone, this is Victor Fitzgerald. What I'm going to be walking you through right now is the start of your process in PowerSchool. Um, now this is something that's going to be happening after the end of year process where you've rolled over and committed your schedules for next year, but before the start of year process for the following year. Um, and the reason for that is because there's going to be some changes that you can make at the start of the year that you can't make when the school is in session. So it is remarkably important that you go through and you take care of everything on this checklist that I'm about to show you. Now, the start of your guide is in PowerSchool. It is in the Pearson School Systems PowerSource setup. Um, this is how you can get to it. This is the URL here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just walk you through that checklist as we start uh, the year. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you log into the system administrator, that you have a full backup of this year ready to go from day one. Um, our system right now here at KIS does nightly backups and weekend full backups, and that's our disaster recovery plan. So that if any minor changes are made during the day that need to be rolled back, we can do that every day, um, and we can roll back entire system changes every week. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to go through is check all of the district and school administration settings. You wanna do all of the codes that you're gonna be using throughout the year. You're gonna check all of the fees if you use them. We personally do not. And you're gonna to wanna to verify all of the school information and the term levels. Um, the reason for that is just because you want to make sure that those are all set up when people start accessing your system. The last thing you're gonna to wanna to do in the district and school administration area is set up your sub sign-in settings. And that is the password that you're gonna use and give to substitutes so that they can take attendance for various periods. Then you're gonna go ahead and review all of the scheduling details. So what that means is you're gonna pull up the years and terms, you're gonna view all of the periods and bell cycles and cycle days, um, you're gonna review all of the bell schedules, you're going to finish the calendar setup and import so that attendance can be taken for every day. You're gonna finish pre-registering any students that need to be entered into the system after the end of your process. And then you're going to get those students scheduled into the courses that they want. Now, this is a big job. Um, there is a lot of work that needs to go in to make sure that those three uh, check boxes are completed. Now, once you're done with that, the, most of the hard part is over because the rest is set up by us um, earlier in the year. Now, what is set up is the full-time equivalencies and all of the attendance data. Uh, we also have set up all of the grading and assessment settings here, the GPA student screens, honor roll, how to do class rank, all of that stuff is set up. Final grade deadlines are already set up in the system at the end of term. So those things should be pretty simple, but you're gonna to wanna to review them anyway just to make sure that you are comfortable with it in your own system. The last couple of things you're gonna to wanna to do is checking reports, making sure that everything is in, that you know what you need to change and when so that you can update your reports as you need to throughout the year. And then you can update any school information or student information that you need to change. Uh, once you've hit all of those things, everything else should be good to go. So it's kind of a lot that you need to review in the first weeks before school starts, um, but it will make sure that your year starts off correctly within PowerSchool. If you have any questions about this uh, checklist or any other information about starting the year in PowerSchool, please feel free to reach out and contact me directly. Thanks for tuning in.